This video reviews the advanced installation workflow for WhatsApp Gold. You can install WhatsApp Gold using either the standard or the advanced installation workflow. You must select the advanced option if you want to implement the failover and or distributed features of WhatsApp Gold. The advanced option also gives you more options for Microsoft SQL Server. Plus, you have the ability to choose your installation directory and extra language packs. Before beginning the installation, you should install WhatsApp Gold on a dedicated server. Do not use this server for any other purpose. You should disable the WebDAV extension on this server. Do not install WhatsApp Gold on a domain controller, and do not use terminal services or remote desktop for the installation. WhatsApp Gold requires Microsoft SQL Server for its database. When you follow the advanced installation workflow, you can choose to use either the dedicated instance of SQL Server Express that is packaged with WhatsApp Gold or an existing SQL Server database. WhatsApp Gold has a variety of other system requirements and will confirm that your system meets these standards before starting the installation. You can review the system requirements for your version of WhatsApp Gold by navigating to the release notes located on docs.progress.com. To install WhatsApp Gold, locate and run the application that you downloaded from the Progress community. The application performs prerequisite checks, then extracts all required installation files. When prompted, select your desired language and click OK. On the Welcome page, select Advanced Installation and click Next. Please note if you need information on offline license activation or any other details not covered in this video, Refer to the WhatsApp Gold installation guide available on docs.progress.com. Next, review the End User License Agreement, select I Accept the Terms, and click Next. You may see the results of a system configuration check. If any prerequisite checks did not pass, please resolve them, then click Revalidate to perform the system configuration check again. When your system passes the requirements, click Next. Verify that your activation key is populated in the License Information dialog, then click Next. If your license includes distributed and or failover features, indicate which of these methods you'd like to deploy. Refer to the What's of Gold installation guide for more information on configuring these options. You may also click Next to continue without selecting either option. Choose whether you want to install a dedicated instance of SQL Server Express for use with What's of Gold or to use an existing installation of SQL Server. If you are using SQL Server Express, you have the option to keep the default SQL Server Administrator password or enter and confirm a custom password. Click Next. If you are using SQL Server Express, you are prompted for the destination folders for the SQL Server Express application and data files. Be sure you have allowed sufficient storage space for the data files as they could reach up to 16 gigabytes in size. Then click Next. If you are using an existing instance of SQL Server, you see the SQL Server information page. Enter the SQL Server name or IP address, followed by the database instance if you are connecting to a non-default database instance such as this example. Then, enter the SQL Server Administrator login name and password for WhatsApp Gold to use to access the existing instance. This connection is used only for installation purposes to do all the necessary configuration to install WhatsApp Gold, such as creating databases. Alternatively, you can use Windows Authentication instead of specifying a login name and password. However, the user logged in at the time of installation must be a system administrator on the specified SQL Server. Click Next. Regardless of your SQL Server option, you now see the Database Names page. Enter names for the WhatsApp and NetFlow databases. We recommend using the default database names, but if you want to use non-standard names, you should specify them now because modifying the names after installation could cause issues with your network monitoring. Click Next. Enter and confirm the password for a new SQL Server login that WhatsApp Gold will use to access the databases. This login is used by WhatsApp Gold after it has been installed. Or you can use Windows Authentication instead. With this option, the logged in Windows user is added to SQL Server, if not already a user, and will be the owner of the WhatsApp Gold databases. The IIS application pool NM console identity is set to this account, 
and the Ipswich Service Control Manager Service Log On As account will be set to this account. If you choose Windows Authentication and you are using a remote SQL Server instance, ensure the Windows user logged in during installation has already been granted access to the remote SQL Server. Click Next. Select the destination folder for the What's Up Gold installation. We again recommend at least 15 GB of available storage in this location. Then click Next. What's Up Gold uses port number 443 by default. If this port is in use by another website, you are prompted to either click Yes to have the installation program take over port 443 for use by What's Up Gold, or to click No and specify an alternate port number before proceeding. Select a certificate option for HTTPS binding. You can choose to use an existing certificate from either a certificate store or your local machine, or you can generate a self-signed certificate. Then click Next. If you selected Windows Authentication on the SQL Server login page, enter the Windows account password for the currently logged in user. Click Next. At this point, if your license includes the log management feature, you are prompted for Elasticsearch server information. You may enter this information now or leave these fields blank to be configured later inside What's Up Gold. Click Next. If you want the ability to view the What's Up Gold user interface in languages other than English, select the languages and click Next. Click Proceed to begin the installation. After it has completed, click Finish. An internet browser automatically launches the initial What's Up Gold user interface. Set your administrator password, then sign in to What's Up Gold. Thank you for watching this video reviewing the advanced installation workflow for What's Up Gold.